Hey, this is Mark from Alien Sea Tech. Going to show you the Cron CV Toolbox. So, all right. Let me start simple. Actually, what I'm first going to do is show you the color. So the basic menu for the meter colors and the titles and all that is right here. This is the default green. There's 10 choices in here. Um, these are the color presets. So that is actually the default. This is what I want to use right here. You just click there to get out or you click here. Just radio toggle buttons here. Um, those actually uh, they control these and this. So you can see these numbers changing up here. You can just dial those in and set it to whatever you want. And when you come up with some favorite color presets, let me know and I can add them. Um, I was planning on adding more. I kind of got tired of making them so I can, I can flesh this out. All right. Uh, let's see. There's other controls back here. Inside color off, logo color, title color, etc. And grid overlays. So the default is just on the editor, but you can turn them on the others. Okay. Now I have uh, this turned on, which I'll get to in a second. That uh, actually, I won't even talk about it now. All right, so going back to the basics here, let's start with LFO4. No, LFO1. All right. Frequency knob. Sync knob. So I just chose free frequencies. There's two sync sets. This is the M sync button. With it off, be a jagged change because that's going to be synced to the play position. Now it'll be unsynced. That also works when changing this. High, mid, low. Now, I'm going to turn it back up. So high is going to cut it when this is off. When it's on, it's going to start warping it. Now it is curving it via function because this is on. With it off, it becomes a linear uh, adjustment. This makes it move around. If I turn this off, it's going to be more constricted. So I recommend having this on and turning these on also, unless you want something a little rougher. This is just the phase knob. Invert. All right, let me change the waveform. I'll show you steps. Oh, I think I forgot to mention, this is all plugged into a basic Thor uh, Venus Strings, and I'm modding the Rotary 1 filter frequency.
Right here you can choose different um, types of steps. So that's up down. Reverse, normal, and let's do uh, up down alternating with middle. This averages out the batches, with the actual number of batches it's averaging. Now, if you're going to use that, what you should do is set this menu right here to whatever sample rate you're using. I'm using 96 at the moment, but I normally use 48. So that means if I take this patch and go uh, set the sample rate to 48, it's going to play the same. Otherwise, it will not play the same because this, the batches are uh, sample rate dependent. That was a late addition, by the way. <laughs> it's not covered in the last video. I made a video uh, a month ago that I'll put up. Uh, three videos total that are that go through a tutorial patch and kind of do what I'm doing now, but the graphics are like a month out of date and there's a few features that weren't added. All right, so there's also random stuff in here. Random uh, soft, random linear, random hard. And you can curve these so you can get more complicated than that, but random soft also uses this menu. It uses the normal, reversed, or up-down as part of its shape. It doesn't do the alternating stuff. Now, for random, right now it's just going to be purely random, different on every song playthrough. But if I use the random seed, it will be the same on every playthrough. And that will be dependent on their frequency and whatnot. Uh, and it's tempo safe. So if you have this on and you change the tempo, you'll get the same sequence of numbers. Different sequences for each of these and for each different seed. Uh, this includes the grid. Uh, it works similarly for free frequencies, uh, except those are not tempo dependent anyway. Uh, and so if you line them up with gates, they will be the same. Uh, with each playthrough. So basically, I used to make stuff a lot with CV. You don't have to do multiple uh, exports until I finally got one that I liked, I, and it was always random. That's kind of a pain. So, seeds, random seeds. Um, custom waveforms. draw these in. Uh, let me choose one. I think I've... <laughs> I'll reset it. Oops. Alright, so this one, let's give it 16 points. You can just draw. You can also grab points, add points, delete points. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff I'm not going to cover right now. But those are the basics. Um, let's use that wave here. Now, if you get tired of that animation, you can turn off, turn it off by hitting that button. Uh, okay, so those are the custom waveforms. There are four of them, um, plus three more that are combos of the first four that share the same data. So X and Y have a total of 64 points, and this has Z has a total of 128. Um, but you probably shouldn't mix the two. You can if you want to; it's it'll still work, but you might get confused. Uh, okay. Oh, and you can make these stepped right here. This one right here. And that will lower the smoothing. Now it's just going to be a bunch of lines. Now it's smooth. Alright, so let me get to the grid. Oh, no, the curve. The curve section. Alright.
this is the shape menu right here. So that's the curve function, curve amount, and this is the shape menu. I'll just show you the S-curve shape, which you can do by hitting that toggle. And the curve phase will rotate that. Rotate the waveform before it hits the function. So it's actually applying this function to the phase. Uh, so it actually, if you get confused, you can do, you can choose a saw, because that's what the phase looks like. It's going to be from one end to the other. And so that basically would curve that and then feed that into the waveforms. Get something like that. <laughs> So I'm going to turn this on, which makes the mid knob use this function. I'm just going to change the direction, and now I can adjust that midpoint, and it gets curved as I do so. Now this one right here is the uh, window size. So if I move that to the left, it's going to get bigger. If I move it to the right, it's going to get smaller. Let me zoom in. It's so smaller. Applies it to a whole bunch of fractions of the wave. Uh, yeah, the wave. This applies it to a bunch of them. So now it's doing eight at a time. So clicking on the screen goes to uh, an LFO, zooms in, zooms out. You can use this knob right here to increase the number of iterations. I might have already mentioned this. I've done it a lot of takes and keep screwing it up. Um, but let me go back to just something kind of simple here. So this one will be, it's at three halves, so it's going to do something to every three halves of that. Thus it's different, like that. <laughs> Got a couple minutes left. I'm going to wire it up to the grid. So the grid right now, that's the basic one. Sum, multiply, average. It's going to combine all three of these. These are selection functions, so we put it on random. Now this LFO is being used to determine that. I've got this turned on, this is an S-curve, very similar to that. So it's going to do smooth fades, so I turn it off. It's going to be jagged. There's also a smooth knob here. This right here turns off that elbow, so it happens every batch. Alright. Crossfaders, I'm about to run out of time, so I have LFO here is modding this crossfader, and the crossfader is also being S-curved here. This only applies to selection functions, but these are for all of that. So this one is, uh, as you can see, it's moving the crossfader back and forth. Thank you.